enough. Don't, don't, really? don't, 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 don't say, look, they've all got the moose heads on as well. I feel like I'm on a, in a Stanley Kubrick movie here. A Stanley Kubrick movie, I guess. Like, like, ha, have, you, have you met Lynn? Yes, I did. Very shy and retiring girl. No, I, you have to explain the concept to me, because I, 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 it must just be my own ignorance, but I don't know. I'll let you look at my notes later. No, 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 seriously, Rob. it sounds very... It's, it's the, well, the concept of the band. I just, I couldn't, they were explaining it to me. It's like two... Two straight girls, two... Well, that's not the concept. That just, that's just what makes up the band, who we that's are. The that's the what concepts writers. do. They bind things together. Yeah, they're always, they're so con always so concentrating. Yeah. So this, is, this is getting like the Oprah Winfrey show, He's isn't it? It's supposed to be me, He's not you. Cute, no, 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 I'm really curious. Rob, There's, The concept Rob, of the band is basically please. about... Sorry, Terry. I, I, I have you keep about... interrupting me. Will you shut up? Is this your show? Yes. Or is this yeah. our show? Yeah. 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 on the cusp of international stardom at the moment. Is this you've a segue? Are we changing no, you've, yeah, you've, yeah, you've, just, segue. you've just made the movie uh, quiz show yeah. and uh, it's been nominated for various Oscars already. Yes. I mean, how did that big break come, come about for you? Uh, I had been at this for a bit, I, I'm, uh, like 15 years, so um, uh, it wasn't that unusual in that I'd, uh, uh, I was doing this TV show and Bob had, had seen it and asked me to come Bob, this is Robert thing. Redford. That's what we call him, Bob. Yeah. Bob <laughs> Big Bob. That's right. And, uh, and he asked me to come and I met with him and we hit it off and, and, uh, and uh, uh, he gave me the job. You got the job. Now, of course, uh, before Quiz Show, you, you're known over here for Northern Exposure. And it's yeah, got it does well over here. It has an absolutely massive following, and yet, and yet you, you didn't really want to do it, did you, in the first place? Well, yeah, I, I did it. I was in debt. I had to kind of make some money. I was somewhat uh, overly idealistic at the <laughs> we time. Know that. Yeah? Is that what's going on with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they're capable of earning a bob or two. I guess I would say. Outside of work. So, so you actually just did it for the money? Uh, well, yeah, I, I mean, not, not completely. Once I decided that I had to make some money and get out of debt, I looked for something that I thought was, uh, you know, uh, relatively intelligent, somewhat literary, and had a kind of... Uh, a beat to it. You, you could say offbeat. That's quite cynical, though, isn't it, really? Especially when cynical. you've got, you've got like, an audience of 23 million. They have conventions. No, you're, no you're, taking me, you're misconstruing what I mean. I don't... I don't I, I'm not trying to dismiss it as, as uh, uh, worthless. I, I enjoy... I, I wouldn't trade the time for anything. It was great. Did you go to the Northern Exposure conventions? <laughs> I, I, I don't think I'd go that far, but... Um... So you, you're cynical enough, then? <laughs> no, no, well, let's just say... Let's say sceptical, how's that? Sceptical, well, that'll do. Now, uh, quiz, quiz Show is actually about a true, a true story, isn't it? Something that happened in the States in the 50s. Can you tell us briefly about it? Yeah, it was a, it was a, so, it was, it was a rather um, uh, devastating scandal in the 50s. There were these uh, quiz shows seemed to be the biggest form of entertainment on television at night, and... Uh, uh, it turned out that they were all rigged, and uh, to so make money, of course. Of course, that's the only reason. Uh, yes, and uh, 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 what else? Right, it's just capitalism. It's just everything is so crooked. Everything is a business. That's right. It's about the duplicity of, of American culture in a nutshell. And, and I mean, it's it's a, it's a major role for you. And of course, nowadays all quiz shows are fixed, aren't they? I, I guess, well, what they say is actually a kind of a profound Martin Scorsese. You know, Martin Scorsese, the director? He's, <laughs> it acts, he has a part in the movie. He acts, and he uh, plays the sponsor. He's a kind of evil, uh, inherently evil man, and says uh, that, it, 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 do you think people tune in to watch, to watch the erudition? No, they tune in to watch the money. So we'll just make the question simpler, so you have all these inane, you know, ridiculous shows, everyone. It's pretty... Uh, <clears throat> No reference to this show, of course. No, no, this I'm is, sure you yeah. don't mean that. And now he's a sex this symbol, not, not Robert Redford. Anyway. It's not a game show. Not yet, but later on you might have a chance to win a prize.